Hi there, Tracy Williams here, your partner in believing. It's been said that if it's important to you, you'll find a way. If it's not important, you'll make excuses. This is undeniably true. If it's important, you will find a way. If it's not, you'll make excuses. Think about throughout history. Seemingly impossible things have been accomplished by those that felt that the thing was important. And I know that if you look back in your life, you'll find that to be true. If it was really important to you, really truly important to you, you found a way, didn't you? Now you may want to buck me on this, proclaiming that there are things in your life, and I think we probably all have things in our life, that are absolutely important to us, that we desire a lot, and yet we haven't created them. We haven't accomplished them despite our efforts. Here's the thing. There's an answer to every question. There's a solution to every single problem. However, the answers and the solutions may not be apparent to you right now. The answers and the solutions may not be visible to you from the current level of thinking. When we change our thinking, then the ideas and the answers and the solutions become clear. So if you truly have a desire, then why is it that it hasn't shown up yet? Well, in many cases, it's because we've given in to the tug of conditions, of circumstances. We take a look at what has been and what our history is and what our track record is and, what our, and our beliefs hold us back. Our paradigms win. Our paradigms often win out. And when they win out, we may give up, believing that it was not meant to be. Or we may give up because we don't know how to bring it about. It may be that we're trying to figure it out using our knowledge instead of tapping into universal intelligence. Trying to figure it out instead of making it welcome. And in doing so, we unknowingly block what it is that we truly desire. Very often, it's the voices of fear, doubt, and worry that speak so loudly that we become discouraged. And when we become discouraged, we may stop making the effort or stop the rigor with which we're making the effort, the effort and the actions that are required to bring that thing about. You see, our paradigms don't want us to find a way. They're very comfortable right where they are and right where you are. So they're going to show up in different ways to hold us back. So the question I must ask is, how important is it? How important is it? If it, your dream, your vision is truly important, you will find a way. That way will include a way to tame the voice of fear, doubt, and worry. That way will include a way to become crystal clear on what it is that you want so that the how can make itself available to you. The way will welcome the ideas and the opportunities because if you could figure it out yourself, you'd be doing it already, wouldn't you? A way means that you will stop making excuses and start asking high calibrated questions. Questions such as, what is one thing that I can do today that will move me in the direction of my dream? What is one thing I can do today? Excuses are really just alibis that we get to hide behind when we have not found a way to create what it is that's important to us. If we're saying it's important and it hasn't happened, very often we find ourselves making excuses. They become alibis. So, so notice what you're noticing. If you find yourself making excuses, even if you're just speaking them in your own head, ask yourself, is this thing really important to you, not to anyone else. All that matters is, is it important to you? So ask yourself, is this thing important to me? If the answer is no, not really, let it go. Invest your energy in things that are important to you. However, if it is important, then find a way. And remember this, you must do the work yourself to make what is important to you happen. However, you were never meant to do it alone. 
Again, referring to people that have ex created extraordinary things throughout history. They didn't do it alone. They had partners in believing. They had masterminds. They had coaches. We've got to do the work ourselves, but we were never meant to do it alone. Let's talk about the support that you need to find a way to do those things that this far, that so far, have not shown up in your life. Here's to living the life that you would love. Signing off for now, Tracy Williams.